How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the display in a Room 55 system. We have a, uh, an issue reported on this display. It has some pixels that are bad. Uh, actually, I'll give you a better, a better look at it, but uh, yeah, we're going to replace this display. If you've ever wondered what the heck is inside of these things, you're going to get to see some of it today. I'm going to try and speed it up a little bit and just show you the highlights, but, uh, but yeah, here we go. Let's check out the issue with the display first and then go into it from there. As you can see, we have some pixels out. It's a little bit tricky to see, but it looks like maybe the screen got bumped at some point. Really hard to say. Sometimes these things just happen. Really, these have been pretty reliable for us. This is the only one that I've seen this happen with and it may have been like this coming out of the box. So anyway, we're gonna get this display pulled out. We're gonna have to remove some of the, uh, the bezels around here and uh, get in there with the screwdriver, get the cables disconnected, and then ultimately put the new display in. We're going to unbox the new display to see exactly what it is that he sent us to actually replace. Give us a better idea of what needs to stay on and what needs to come off of the existing unit. Uh, but really it's a matter of taking the bracket out of the center, disconnecting the cables, and then getting the thing torn apart. Here we go. The replacement part is actually the whole second half of the unit in essence. The floor bracket will stay, but really the white metal around the outside, the whole, the whole second half of the system comes apart and that's actually what we replace. Rather than pulling individual components apart, we essentially split the unit, put the second half in place, and uh, you know put it back together. Sounds a lot easier than it really is, so we'll keep going. As you can see, we have the other half of the unit here. We have the existing unit we actually pulled the speakers out of because this, the replacement part does not come with the speakers. There's a couple cables that we'll have to pull over as well, but uh, we're, we're getting there slowly. When you have all the screws disconnected or unscrewed, you gotta be very careful, but you can lift the unit apart, take the old piece out of the way, and then we'll lift in the new one. Here we go. Once the replacement screen segment is in place, go back through, tighten all the screws back up, make sure everything lines up, and then uh, reassemble it from there. Before you walk away from the unit, you want to run the sound check, which we're going to do here in a second. You want to make sure all the speakers are working the way they were before. We actually had a cable on the wrong place, so uh, we're going to run it again and just double check. Once you have everything looking good and sounding good, you can put the bezels back on and mark that case as closed. All right, so with that project done, a couple pro tips that we learned. You definitely want to have the original install kit, if you still have it, uh, including the assembly manual, because you want to know where screws go and where the different parts and connectors connect to. So if you have that, you definitely want to have it. Otherwise, go to cisco.com and, and get a copy there. Uh, the original tools, again, were part of the install manual, so you know you have the right size Torx bits and uh, Allen wrench bits. Um, you know, outside of that, before you walk away, check the audio, check the video, make sure everything's working, do a test call, and go from there. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, hit subscribe, like our videos, share our videos. Let me know in the comments section below if you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks. And I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you again sometime soon.